The functional pottery that I was taught you know, as I was growing up, had a sort of a Japanese aesthetic to it. There's this term in Japanese called wabi-sabi, which means just a little bit off, but it's not off in like a mistake way. It's not off in like a that's wrong way. It's off in an artistic way, in a natural way. I think I try and strive for that too, but in my own way. I basically use extremely strong magnetic fields by arranging supermagnets in a particular formation. Very powerful, very large supermagnets, along with a magnetic clay that I developed. I get my inspiration from nature, from the zoo, from a hike, from uh, the desert, from a trip. I see these things, they stick in my mind, and I think, how can I find that? How can I make that happen? Can I create the conditions in the clay, in this material, to replicate that? I try and unlock what the natural world has to show us. I think that connects with people. I think people are primed to find beauty in the orderly disorder of nature. <laughs>